it's just kind of upsetting that, you know, you don't get to play. I mean, it's like someone that is a runner and taking their legs away, it's like taking your fight. Watching the warm up was hard. Just listening to the music, getting pumped up, like, ah, oh, gosh, I wish I could be out there. As the crowd is up, it's a sold out gymnasium, and this is going to be a great basketball game. I remember going to a football practice, and I, one of my football coaches was like, hey, what's that lump on your neck? He told us it was hard to put his football helmet on for practice because his neck was so swollen. They said, yeah, it's slam dunk. Yep, we got a, looks like a Hodgkin's lymphoma. Cancer, it's just like, I saw that word cancer and I was like, that, that can't be right, can it? Why me, you know? I was supposed to be, you know, athlete and senior year, supposed to have fun and get on with life. He came up to me and he gave me a big hug and he says, it's gonna be okay. I said, this should be me, not you. Don't, this is not what you should be going through. You're, you're not, <laughs> you're not supposed to have this happen. Stolen away by Fair Collins. Austin Madge slams it home! To be honest, I really didn't think he was gonna get in the game. Throughout the whole game, I'm nervous, I'm scared. I'm talking to the people next to me. I'm like, oh gosh, man. I don't really want to get in now, I'm scared. Merrim goes in, gets it, counted. When we down like 15, and so all of a sudden, you know, the front row starts chanting, Garrett Carp. We want Carp. Garrett Carp. Oh no, <laughs> is this gonna happen? Initially, things went very well. Uh, the tumor shrunk, but in November, things began to change and there was progression of his problem. Oh my God, like, he could lose his life to this. When it reoccurs, you usually get hit with aggressive chemo and then usually go through a bone marrow transplant and then do radiation afterwards. It was hard for him. He actually cried and he, I don't think he had cried yet. I remember the first time after the chemo, whether I could hold it back or not, I would vomit. It felt like there was something wrong going on in my head. And at that point, I was scared. I'm like, am I dying right now? I couldn't walk up and down the stairs without breathing hard. I couldn't go to school. It kind of just took me out of society. I'll never forget what he said to me. He goes, this doesn't mean I'm going to quit fighting. He's like, this just means I'm going to keep fighting more. He lost his hair, and then he was joking around. He'd always post these pictures on Facebook about how great he looked bald. There was always that anticipation that Garrett might be able to come back and play some basketball. And he came to me and says, you know, I think I could maybe suit up the Fort Collins game. I said, great, we'll suit you up. As the crowd is up, it's a sold out gymnasium. Right before the game, I usually say something to end it. And Garrett said, coach, can I just say something? <laughs> and he said, I got great news today. My cancer's in remission. Here comes McCullough down the right hand side. He goes all the way in, he gives it back. Shot up and good. The cheering's getting louder and louder, and I'm thinking, well, it is kind of a blowout. Maybe he should go in. <laughs> Pretty soon, you got even the Collins student section yelling for him to go in. He was a little on the edge of his seat, looking over at Coach, kind of like, and I looked down, he's like, he, he points at me, walks down, I'm like, oh. And now coming into the game, it's an interesting story, ladies and gentlemen. You can hear the crowd. It's like, wow, these, these kids really, you know, they really want to see him.
I was at the free throw line when Garrett came into the game. I kind of told him, you know, be ready to shoot if you get the ball. He's two feet away from the basket. Everyone's about to erupt, and then he just misses off the front of the rim. Shot goes up, no good by Garrett Cup. And he misses this easy layup, and I'm thinking, oh, geez, Garrett. <laughs> and at that point in my mind, I'm like, I just need to make it down the court and not pass out or fall down. They get the ball to Garrett. The gym's getting louder and louder as he's getting closer. And then at that point, I'm like, you know, I'm just going to go for the three. I should just shoot it just for the heck of it. He shoots a three. He makes it in! He makes it in! He makes it in! Holy crap. Oh, I jumped. I jumped up and down and screamed so loud. It's probably like the happiest moment, especially when like the crowd went nuts. The fact that he made it, and not only made it, but banked in a three-pointer as a 6'5 post player, was just incredible. When the game was over, the whole student section just came swarming down to Garrett. His teammates were hugging him, all the fans, parents were down there, even kids from the other school came over and congratulating him. He doesn't know what to do. He's looking around. Everybody's patting him on the back. At that moment, you know everyone was thinking that, man, if he can do that, what can I do? It just gave everyone hope. Garrett Edward Carter. It's a, the kind of statement that stands in people's minds that you accomplish something in life. For me, it's gonna be that I actually made it. I didn't quit and I just kept fighting.